Mosasaurus was a large marine reptile from the late Cretaceous era, living about 82 and 66 millions of years ago. It possibly evolved from an extinct group of semi-aquatic lizards known as Agilosaurus, which lived in the shallow marine environments. The Mosasaurus genus, contains 41 different species of various sizes. During the last 20 million years of the Cretaceous period, with the extinction of the ichthyosaurs and pliosaurs, mosasaurs became the dominant marine predators. They became extinct as a result of the cretaceous paleogene extinction event at the end of the Cretaceous period, about 66 million years ago. The type species of Mosasaurus hoffmanni is one of the largest mosasaurs known, it could reach maximum length of 17 meters, or even possibly 18 meters. Smaller species such as Mosasaurus lemonieri grew around 7 to 10 meters in length, or Mosasaurus misuriensis may have measured 8 to 9 meters in length. A particular skeleton of Mosasaurus misuriensis was almost complete, and measured 6.5 meters in length. Species of Mosasaurus bogey grew to a total length of 8 to 10 meters. First fossils of Mosasaurus known to science were discovered in 1764 in a chalk quarry near Maastricht in the Netherlands, in the form of a skull, which was initially identified as a whale. In 1780 another skull was found in the same location. This skulls were properly assigned to the genus in 1822. In 1804 Lewis and Clark expedition discovered a fossil skeleton alongside the Missouri River, in the so-called Big Bend in South Dakota, which was identified as a 14-meter long fish. Another fossils were found in New Jersey in 1881, but wasn't properly identified until 1966. In 1799 a fossil skull was found in a Fafate quarry in Belgium, but wasn't properly described for almost a hundred years. Further search in the same location, uncovered numerous well-preserved fossils. Another species of Mosasaurus was described in 1952, based on isolated teeth found in the Ulad Abdoun Basin in Morocco. However distribution of Mosasaurus fossils is almost global, as fossils were found all over the world, with earlier examples being the first of specific species. There is even a possibility of a freshwater Mosasaurus being found in Hungary. Skull of Mosasaurus is conical and tapers off to a short snout. In Mosasaurus hoffmanii, snout is blunt, but in Mosasaurus lemonieri it is pointed. The upper jaws in most species are robustly built, broad, and deep except in Mosasaurus conodon, where they are slender. The disparity is also reflected in the dentary, the lower jawbone, although all species share a long and straight dentary. In Mosasaurus hoffmanii, the top margin of the dentary is slightly curved upwards, this is also the case with the largest specimens of Mosasaurus lemonieri, although more typical skulls of the species have a near perfectly straight jawline. The lower jaws of Mosasaurus could swing forward and backward this function mainly served to allow ratchet feeding, in which the pterygoid and jaws would walk captured prey into the mouth like a conveyor belt. The features of teeth in Mosasaurus vary across species, but unifying characteristics include a design specialized for cutting prey, highly prismatic surfaces, and two opposite cutting edges. Mosasaurus teeth are large and robust except for those in Mosasaurus conodon and Mosasaurus lemonieri, which instead have more slender teeth. The cutting edges of Mosasaurus differ by species. The cutting edges in Mosasaurus hoffmanii, and Mosasaurus misuriensis are finely serrated, while in Mosasaurus conodon, and Mosasaurus lemonieri serrations do not exist. 
Teeth were constantly shed through a process where the replacement tooth developed within the root of the original tooth and then pushed it out of the jaw. Chemical studies conducted on a Mosasaurus Hoffmanii maxillary tooth measured an average rate of deposition of odontoblasts, the cells responsible for the formation of dentin, at 10.9 micrometers per day. This was by observing the von Ebner lines, incremental marks in dentin that form daily. Mosasaurus possibly was highly aggressive dinosaur, that attacked other individuals of its kind, as suggested by fossil evidence, including broken bones. However some of those bones were healed, meaning that individuals survive, which may suggest a different reason, such as head-biting behavior during courtship as seen in modern lizards. Many of fossils has been affected by the bone infraction, which is often associated with decompression ills. That means Mosasaurus often swam to the surface, possibly to breathe, to then dive back down. It is very likely that Mosasaurus was viviparous, meaning it gave live birth, instead of laying eggs. There is no such evidence for Mosasaurus itself, but it is known from a number of closely related species, such as skeleton of a pregnant Carsosaurus, fossils of two Mosasaur embryos, and fossils of newborn cladastes from pelagic deposits. Such fossil records, along with a total absence of any evidence suggesting external egg-based reproduction, indicates the likeliness of viviparity in Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus had relatively large eye sockets with large sclerotic rings occupying much of the socket's diameter, the latter is correlated with eye size and suggests it had good vision. The eye sockets were located at the sides of the skull, which created a narrow field of binocular vision at around 28.5 degrees but alternatively allowed excellent processing of a two-dimensional environment, such as the near-surface waters inhabited by Mosasaurus. Brain casts made from fossils of Mosasaurus show that the olfactory bulb and vomeronasal organ, which both control the function of smell, are poorly developed and lack some structures in Mosasaurus hoffmanii, this indicates the species had a poor sense of smell. In Mosasaurus lemonieri, these olfactory organs, although still small, are better developed and have some components lacking in Mosasaurus hoffmanii. The lack of a strong sense of smell suggests that olfaction was not particularly important in Mosasaurus, instead, other senses like vision may have been more useful. Paleontologists generally agree that Mosasaurus was likely an active predator of a variety of marine animals. Fauna likely preyed upon by the genus include bony fish, sharks, cephalopods, birds, and marine reptiles such as other mosasaurs and turtles. It is unlikely Mosasaurus was a scavenger as it had a poor sense of smell. Mosasaurus was among the largest marine animals of its time, and with its large, robust cutting teeth, scientists believe larger members of the genus would have been able to handle virtually any animal. Lingam Solia suggested that Mosasaurus had a rather savage feeding behavior as demonstrated by large tooth marks on scutes of the giant sea turtle Allopleuron, Hoffmanian fossils of re-healed fractured jaws in Mosasaurus Hoffmanii. The species likely hunted near the ocean surface as an ambush predator, using its large two-dimensionally adapted eyes to more effectively spot and capture prey. Chemical and structural data in the fossils of M. lemonieri, and M. conodon suggests they may have also hunted in deeper waters. Thank mm -hmm. you.